quilts and today I'm here to do a card review I have been making quite a few cards for my booth that I'm having at our quilt show and I just thought that I would share them with you I have made quite a few cards I've made 69 greeting cards and then I also made six gift card holders so I'm just going to start with the first card so here is a birthday card I have a card making class that I attend sometimes monthly if I can make the date and she used this stamp by Stephanie Bernard to create some cards with and I had some backgrounds that I had used on photo paper so I thought that this would be perfect for that I also did some other kind of distress coloring with the photo paper so I'm just going to show you all the cards because they are very similar but different backgrounds I think I played with some distress inks with 91% alcohol for these techniques and just over stamped and I'm sure these cards are not put up here straight but just have to bear with me and on these cards I did not put anything inside the new trend is kind of having people write their own sentiments but I will take some sentiment stamps with me to my booth and if somebody wants something added in then I would do that so after I made that those series of cards I this is the same step set from Stephanie Bernard I just die cut some of these off of the scraps because I didn't want to just pitch them so I made a couple of cards like that and on these last two cards I actually put the greeting on a banner so this next card is a happy birthday card and again it's from my card making class where we were working with stencils so I came home and saw what stencils I had and pulled some floral stamps that I had and made this particular card added a sentiment on the front there's nothing on the back and I actually made four of these cards whenever I'm making a card I'll go ahead and make multiples and this last one on top I got some ink on top of my sentiment so I just inked over the entire thing a little bit more with some daubers in line with making cards for females I did this same technique and just use it to make some cards that could be used for male or female but make, basically I made this series for the men and I just added four of those as well it's a lot easier to make cards in bulk the next up I had an old stamping up paper pumpkin kit I think it was from June 2016 and so I it had for you to make a banner card and I just decided that I wasn't going to do that but I did make some shaker cards where I got some shaking inside of the little areas and on this first one I don't think that I put it up high enough so it doesn't shake as much as it should but it's a completed card and then this next card here is a I heart you card but it can be used for any occasion another shaker card and I actually used the little triangle bags and I just used the stamps to go over that and since this card was put on a dark background I opted to put in something for the person to write on and then again another shaker card 
another shaker card here and this was all product that was from a kit but these cards were not made like the kit so I just did different things with them and so I made a few of the same things here made three of those same cards still had some product left and so I made one more and again another card using that stamp I still have some pieces left over and so I decided to go ahead and make some more cards so I made four of these cards it's just a it's your day card it could be for male or female any baseball enthusiast and I also made four of these cards this birthday card was made again with one of those backgrounds that I did on photo paper with the ink and alcohol and I just put this butterfly on it I just thought it was pretty decided to use the experiment I used some stencils to do the flower leaves and then I just used daubers to color in this background put a stamp on it and it's a cute Mother's Day card and I didn't put anything in the center of that either my next series of cards is another paper pumpkin kit but I don't know what month it is. This one I did for Father's Day. And they have two different backgrounds. These are triangles. And then you kind of have rectangles on point for us quilters that kind of looks like a rail fence quilt. And then I made Happy Birthday with the remaining cards. And I just alternated that as well. So I'll just that's two, three, four, five. And I actually made the other one to be a total of eight, but I gave that one to my husband this year for Father's Day. Next thing up is a birthday bundle from Stamping Up. It had birthday cards and gift bags that you could give to someone. So I'll show you the gift bag first. And it's not actually fitting all in the screen, so I'm sorry about that. But this is the top. I, so it has a tag up here that's to and from. And, and then the bag has been cut out with some balloon shapes here in the yellow areas. And I just taped some yellow gift wrap paper that was included in the kit and then I also added another sheet of gift wrap for the actual gift in the inside of the bag and then it has matching cards that go with it and on the inside I actually put a balloon and then you have the actual envelope of course so I did this with four the only thing that I did with this that wasn't part of the kit was that I added a piece of washi tape in the middle of this just to give it another element there and then I did some that were yellow and I also did some with the blue washi so I have four kits with the bag and then I have two extra greeting cards that was done with that technique so and that's all of these items here are the kits and then these are the cards and some of the cards are in between next up I purchased this card kit at Michaels at the end of Christmas last year and regular price for this was $4.99 and I actually got it after Christmas for like either 75 or 90 percent off and so I didn't do anything to the outside and I didn't have any Santa stamps so on the inside I actually added two panels on the inside put some washi tape across because I was trying to bring back the red black and gold on the inside and then I used the red to stamp my sentiment and I actually made 
16 of these. It was eight cards in each pack. And then made a few wedding or anniversary cards. I had these stickers and I just decided to do a cover background with a die and decided to do white on white. And then I also added a cut label die and then I just kind of marked it with my Copic markers around the edge to give it a little shading and I'm hoping you can see that in the video and then I just added some of the small flowers and hearts and as I'm pulling things out some of my flowers and hearts are actually falling off so that's another version this is the same card but it has it's reversed from the top and bottom and then I changed the sentiment And then the last card is here. So I have, they're similar but different cards. And I'll have to put back on my flowers and hearts. And I'll, I use, they were stickers, so I'll use some of my tape to put those back on. Last thing I made was another paper pumpkin kit. And it's had greeting cards and birthday cards and actually the greeting card was supposed to go in here but I decided to instead of having eight greeting cards I made eight greeting cards and four birthday cards so on this one I didn't do anything different the only thing is if your thread is twisting a tip is to press it with your iron and that made it so that my bow would, wouldn't keep twisting on itself and it would keep it open and flat and then on the inside I just stamped three flowers on the bottom and again I did that for four cards on the actual gift cards I did switch things up a little bit so let me just first open this up and show you what I have so it opens out and you have a little gift card that you can put inside of here. And it also has a note card included where you can also write a message if you choose. So once you put your note card and your greeting card in, and of course I'm not looking at this, okay. And then you fold it up and then they had you make a belly band for it and you just slide the belly band onto the card and they had where they had a circle they had a hole punch for you to tie ribbon around and close it off and I opted to make my belly band and then I made a banner and put the to and from from the birthday bundle stamp set in here and then that way you can write on the outside who is to and from because I felt like the little circle tags they had were too small to write anything on. So I did that for three of the four because I'm going to keep one to use as a template. So I made three of those and I made two like this and I also was having some issues with where did I want to put my to and from where did I want my band ends to end because I wanted to cover those. So this was my first one. And then I made one that was a stripe so it could go to a male. And I put it in the middle right over the flap. And then on this one, I actually put it on top. And I kind of like it up on top a little better. So I have three of those. Then I made the second set of greeting cards. And they didn't tell me to make a belly band, but I wanted to because they wanted me to put the gift card in and actually seal this off when I put this on. And I actually, they had this in sticker paper and I didn't want to use it. So this is part of the sticker paper, but this part I just substituted some other paper that I had because the sticker would have stuck down. So I slide it off. And then I also, on my own, just stamp the Just For You on the outside. And then they can actually, they can actually write the person's name of who it's to on the actual banner. So this was just the envelope that you put your gift card in 
but they also then wanted you to add in one of these greeting cards and I wanted to save that and so what I did was I just took a plain piece of white paper to make a note card I kind of inked the edges and then just put three flowers on the bottom and so that's what I actually put inside of mine and then I put the so I actually made three of those because again I kept one of these to use as a template so I think that's it for all of my cards I hope you enjoyed looking at them and I will see you in my next video bye bye for now